Hello lovely people, I'm Michal Kaligrix from Tantra Movement uh, and now I would like to share with you another masterclass about lovemaking, especially directed to the teachers. If you would like to become a Tantra teacher, you have to realize uh, that you are a pioneer of the path what is against the mainstream, what is for love, but deep love what are very often misunderstood because thousands of years most of the religions were suppressing the sexuality instead of transforming the sexuality into the empowerment the uh, governments even uh, religions used by the uh, people in power they wanted to disempower you and that's why they cut off you from the main source of the energy, what is your sacred sexuality. This energy creates life, creates babies, and only love, I feel it's maybe more powerful than uh, this energy. Uh, and they are all <laughs> both intertwined. Uh, sacred sexuality cannot be without love, and pure love, unconditional love, cannot be with the shame of sexuality. That's how Tantra understand that. You, as a Tantra teacher, you facing against thousands of years of conditionings about the sexuality towards the shame, towards the guilt, towards sexual addictions, towards running some desires. So Tantra is transforming this so-called typical sex what we are conditioned to, into, what they say is natural, but actually they forbid the real potential of the humanness being natural for the human is not to be only animalistic. And sexuality, it can be sacred. It can be the most sacred, spiritual, powerful act you can experience. It creates babies. It creates new life. How this could be considered in any direction as a sin? Tantra is teaching to transform this energy. What if it's not used properly, it leads us to running on desires and we are manipulated to use it only in that way that we are going into running and the de desires and then this animalistic only energy can be very often labeled as a sin and manipulated that this is the only way of using the sexuality and if you do not make a baby it's a sin in many cultures in many religions but tantra it's not losing this energy. Those people who experience Tantra, they know from their body. I can bet with anyone, if someone would give me any practice, what gives me so much energy, so much spirituality, so much love, so much power, so much insights on all chakras, I am happy to give all my belongings if it would be better than use it, don't lose it, the method of Tantra. Using this energy, it transforms all your life. It creates the baby within us. And the baby can be your passion, can be your passion to feed the people, can be your passion to do something good for the people, to support the people, to teach them how to love better, to teach them Tantra. You can nourish that baby with your sexual energy. You can empower yourself that people will ask themselves, when they see you, when they feel your energy, where is this is coming from? How this person is able to work every day, eight, nine, ten hours daily, and he does it with such a passion, and after the, his work, he is not even tired. He's still passionate and happy to talk about that and living this life. How is it possible? These questions is always asked at the rainbow gatherings where I teach every day, eight, nine hours, free. How I do it? Because it's nourishing this. I take care 
that I have this sexual energy and I transform it into my power, into my power to life. And this power, it's valuable for everyone. The people in power, they destroy it, they suppress it because they were afraid that when people were get powerful, they will move the mountains. But Tantra is about liberation, empowerment, about learning how to love better. So that's why you as a teacher, we are sharing it against all odds. We can be judged, we can be suppressed, we could be manipulated into some stories. You know, that we are, oh, not enough traditional Tantra, or that uh, we do things mm, against that or that culture, and so. No, no, we are not doing things against any culture. We are for human love, human liberation, and for the deepest spirituality, what is connected with the sexuality. If it would not be connected, how it would come that the creating life, the most sacred act on this planet, it's like almost like creating life, it's like almost like being a god. It's done by sexual act. And would you like it to be happening in the way that two passionate lovers loving each other and they choose to have a baby? and they do it in the best possible loving way taught how to do it or you like it to be like bang 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 fuck and then uh, yes shit happens could you imagine that 80 percent of the human population are unwanted unplanned children first reaction is usually when the woman knows that she's pregnant it's like, oh fuck, the man, when his woman is pregnant, it's like, oh fuck, this is not very good start for a baby. It's a first beginning, first welcoming energy. How about creating the baby consciously with Tantra, choosing even when it's the best moment to conceive? when we're ready for, when we feel like, yes, we are loving each other, we commit to support that baby, support that family for the rest of our life, and it's not that it happened. And how would you like it to be conceived yourself? Ask yourself, would you like to be conceived in the most beautiful, tantric, loving act where two parents are consciously choosing to have you? Or would you like to be conceived in the bang, 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 fuck, 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 and shit happens? And shit, it's you. And then, you know, the parents who had some dreams, maybe about traveling of the world, maybe about going to some poor countries to support the hungry children, maybe, they had planned to have career or study, whatever. They have to sacrifice all of this to support and plant baby who you are. What do you think? What kind of love you will get from that sacrifice? Would you choose not for something better? And Tantra is teaching us from the beginning, from being born, from even before. That's why love making it's so important. That's why we call love making, not fucking, because this is love making. This is conscious love making. And even if we do not plan to choose the baby as a form of the human being, we are not these beautiful creators. We can choose to create baby as our passion whatever the passion is. My passion is teaching Tantra. And you know what? I could not work every eight, nine hours if I would not be supported by my sexual energy. How this can be bad? 
I do it out of love. On the rainbows, I don't get payment. At the Babylon, I get paid to raise my school, support my community, to have better tools, to spread this wisdom, to spread this mission further and further. How this can be bad? Even Jesus was crucified on the cross because his message was not according to the businesses and powers of the people who were at that time. Does he did something wrong? No, he was teaching love. We could say very connected teachings to Tantra, how to love better, to know Tantra, how to be good for the other person, for your neighbor, for your family, for your partner. This, what it is, becoming a teacher, it's spreading the love, sharing the love against all odds. That's what the Jesus did the same. And many others the same. They were pioneers. And you, as a Tantra teacher, you are a pioneer. The first one, one of the first ones who are going to make a path, it's the one who have most difficulties. And maybe in your countries you would be the first one. And you will have these difficulties. But believe me, you are making the path for the others. That those who will follow the path what you made, it will have easier. And the love what you shared, it would be spread. More multiplying, more multiplying. Thank you for taking this role. But realize, it's not going to be easy maybe. But the love for yourself, for that mission, for picking up this challenge, for following this challenge, is priceless. As more difficult, as bigger challenge, and bigger growth, you would have difficulties. Because there are many energies who are against that message. As most of the pioneers, when they bring new ideas, they had to face the people with the old ideas that they may not like it. The liberation from shame, guilt, from the sexual addiction, it's hitting many businesses, porn industry, the beauty industry, pharmaceutical industry, they all benefit from the people being not happy, not loving. You are doing something against their pockets. So, you know, energetically, financially, they may hit you back. But you know what you are standing for. You are standing for love for the people. You are standing for love of your future children. You are standing for the love of humanity, for love to this planet. If we are disconnected with everything, nature, the neighbors, even our family, children, our wife, even within ourselves, if we are disconnected with our body, with our soul, with our heart, how we can bring the solution to this planet to make a better world what it's needed so you as a tantra teacher you have big role we believe in you we put our hopes in you that you will do it even better than i do we do that you will improve and you will learn from our mistakes what our community is maybe making sometimes what we as a teacher human beings are making sometimes that we learning on how to love better and doing it but we learning it by doing it not by just the books and that's what 
you as a teacher you will become you like to become a master of something start to teach about it share the love and share the authenticity maybe you are not perfect yet but start teaching that's what we like to empower you that's what it's our tantra teachers course about to empower you to encourage you this is the main thing the other thing is of course free yourself from running on desires heal your past wounds love more and more unconditionally all of it you can achieve through use it don't lose it method so that's why 49 day challenge it's a requirement in our tantra teacher course or any tantra professional course tantra masur course that you are not running on desires that you do not ever take advantage of your situation of your power or of you being a teacher masur and etc that you always serve the woman the humanity the students etc for them for the love what you share to them transforming from typical sex that is connected with shame guilt past traumas past wounds running on desires sexual addiction transforming it into so called sacred sexuality one of the most beautiful most intimate most powerful and empowering energizing expression of more and more unconditional love towards yourself and especially towards your partner and then with this method of use it don't lose it transforming it into love into your passion finding your passion and living your passion whatever you do if you do along the straight direction of love work what you do the passion what you follow it supports you it supports your partner and it supports the humanity then you do a great job and teaching tantra is one of the great example how you can flow with it that's why very important is to master 49 day challenge that you really free yourself from running on desires and the second you heal yourself from past wounds especially according the sexuality that whatever you do however you teach you are not affected by some trauma what happened to you or in the generations before however we like to call it past life or thousands of years conditionings in the patriarchal supremacy suppression of the female and the sexuality you heal all of this and you don't act out of it we are into partnership not into any domination anymore but partner yet that we are supporting each other male female qualities working together towards better world better life better relationships better humanity you are bringing it to the people as a tantra teacher is it not beautiful be proud of yourself now and always 49 the challenge it's the challenge to use it don't lose it method for 49 days so you are bringing yourself into very high sexual energy every day you commit your practice to being in the sacred sexual energy every day close to the point of no return and you stay there at least half an hour and you don't lose through the clitoral orgasm or through the ejaculatory orgasm if it happened don't feel guilt just learn from what went wrong and master the circumstances 
and start the challenge from the beginning. And if it will take you half year to finish the challenge, you will master it much better sometimes than if it will take you only 49 days. Don't see it as a failure. See it as a like, hey, opportunity to have longer practice. 49 day, it's liberating you from running on the sexual desires, having attachment to the peak orgasms, on the psychic, mental and spiritual levels. 21 day challenge, it's already liberating you on the physical levels. So if you achieve these ones, you are already step ahead. You are liberated on the physical level. No hormones, no the substances in your body are telling you, hey, we need some ejaculation. No. So 21 is already achievement. But go for 49, that you fully free. After that, you will never think about wanting to ejaculate or wanting to have clitoral organs. You will not be interested. You would be free. You will, of course, choose for lovemaking for hours because this is another beautiful benefit from having 49 day challenge and having this half hour at least every day being on high arousal on the sexual levels. This activates your sexuality. Awake it in the good way that you can activate all these different other orgasmic feelings like G-spot orgasm, the cervical orgasm, perineum orgasm, any other orgasm, full body orgasm, cosmic orgasm. And these are giving you energy. These are nourishing your chakras. You don't lose the energy from it. You feel divine afterwards. You feel uplifted. So you are feeling the benefits. You are activating them. You are learning how to achieve them. All of this is to see the sacredness of the sexuality back into your being. See how powerful it is. After 49 day challenge, you will not be driven by the desires, but you will choose for lovemaking for two, three hours. Because yes, you can. You will not lose the energy, so you can do that. And you know how powerful it is. And then you will be very happy about choosing for it because it's healthy for you, for your relationship, for your spirituality, for your health. It's like people don't go to the yoga for running on desires. They choose for it. You will choose for lovemaking. You will do it from the choice and you will have a lot of those benefits. And that's what you would shine with as a teacher, as an example of this sacred sexual energy, what everyone can have. To clarify how you get, they use it, don't lose it. So there are many videos. It's an essential part of Tantra, one of the most beautiful gifts from universe I received in my life and I keep receiving in my life. I'm saying there is no spiritual body practice that it can give you benefits better than this. And if someone wants to challenge me and show me something better, I guarantee I give all my belongings straight because I will know that it's worthy if there is something better. Because for that method, I will give everything. It's, wow, one of the most best gifts what make me transform from running on the desires into being like in sacred sexuality, being proud, being happy, sharing love to the humanity, finding new path. I wish this will bring the changes what the humanity needs. Everything starts from the sexuality, being born, but also facing the challenges. Here we go. Let's start from the physical, sexual aspects of use it, don't lose it. The method of sublimation, bringing the energy up instead of losing it through the ejaculatory or the clitoral orgasm. Similar method is called in sexual Tao, 
microcosmic orbit. That method contains three parts, PC muscle, breath, visualization. Now in the details. All these three methods are interconnected and intertwined and happening in the same time. The PC muscle is the muscle what we use to stop P. So next time it's your homework, you go to toilet and you stop peeing, force yourself to stop peeing a few times. And the muscle what you're using is the PC muscle. So recognize exactly what muscles are you using to stop peeing and then start to train this muscle. This is golden advice. I will tell you many of golden advice in this masterclass. One is to train the PC muscle. You train it by squeezing and relaxing. As I'm squeezing my fist now, twice per second and relaxing, yes? I'm squeezing my PC muscle as well. You don't see it, nobody see it, but I can still speak to you so it doesn't take my attention, in general, doesn't take my time, doesn't cost me nothing, but it gives me a lot of benefits. Benefits not only on the sexual levels, but on many others. There is no any muscle what the training can give you so many benefits than training the PC muscle. And at the same time, it's so easy. So it's another golden advice. Do not believe me, just Train your PC muscle. When the muscle is strong, after one month of training, the shooting of the energy is much stronger. So it's more efficient. The method is more efficient than at the beginning. How you train it? The most easy way, most popular, also most efficient, is just start with the 20 squeezes per approach and do it three times a day. Every day you add 10 more till you reach 100 per time. Then you stop adding and you keep doing it. Every day, 300 in total. It's less than five minutes. After one month, your PC muscle would be strong enough and would be more efficient in this method. Then you don't have to train it every day, but you have to maintain it. Usually when you, you will use it during your love making, self-love rituals, whatever, you will maintain it quite frequently enough. Very important thing, especially for the woman, so imagine that this is your natural state of your PC muscle. When you squeeze it, also relax it, but more than it's your natural state. So when you squeeze it, you squeeze it, but then you relax it more than your natural state. Not only focus on squeezing the PC muscle, but also on the relaxing the PC muscle. Don't overdo the PC muscle because the pain would be much more bigger than after the climbing the biggest top of the Kopangan mountain. The second component is the breath. With the breath, you suck the energy up. The breath is like gas pedal in your car. When you are advanced driver, you can go on the curve even on the fast speed, but especially at the beginning, you have to master the slowness. In the same way, how with your slow breath, you can slow down your anger, your pain, your sadness, your fear. You may slow down with the breath, your excitement. When you are slowing down your breath, you are more in control what is happening. Also, the oxygen, the life force, the energy, the ecstasy is spreading more all over your body. It's not so much accumulating in your genitals and it also guides you into tendency more to feel the full body orgasm, but you don't lose the energy. Also with the movement, slow down your movement. When we are close to the point of no return, realize naturally we go faster and with the more shallow breath, like <laughs> So you can reverse this by slowing down your movement, slowing down your breath. Another golden advice, what I would like to share about the breath, observe your breath as often you remember about that. This will train you also to be more in the present moment, what is very important in Tantra lovemaking. The third component is visualization. Why we visualize? Because the 
energy follows attention. You can visualize how you light. Green light ball, stream of light, rainbow color, pool, smoke, any color of kind of liquid, anything you feel. Now all together, I will show, I wish you can see. Breathe in, tighten the PC muscle, imagine that the energy goes from your genitals on the back of your spine to the level of the heart chakra. Breathe out, relaxing the PC muscle back to the genitals. Breathe in, tightening the PC muscle up to the heart. Breathe out, relaxing the PC muscle back to the genitals. Breathe in, tightening the PC muscle up to the heart. Breathe out, relaxing the PC muscle back to the genitals. You do maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven of those circles. And in this way, this too much energy, what was ready to be explode through the clitoral and ejaculatory organs, you brought it to your heart. So you are more loving, more connected with yourself, with your partner. And what most important, you are far away from the point of no return. So you can continue with love making, with self love ritual, maybe with the massage. And then again, when you feel you are coming close to the point of no return, the moment when the peak orgasm will happen for sure, just before you do this method again. Better too early than too late, because if it's too late, it's game over. In this way, you create so-called wave orgasm, that every time you go to the higher ecstasis before reaching the point of no return, and in this way, the time is passing by, you are reaching higher ecstasis, higher orgasm than in typical sex, because you don't lose the ecstasy, the energy, but you go higher and higher with every wave you do. This is the method what changed people's life and what we have to bring it to the humanity. That's one of the essential method, essence of Tantra, what uh, transform all their lives on the physical level, but also on the spiritual level. And there are many, many aspects how this liberate from the typical sex. So one is that we are the ones in this method where we feel, okay, it's enough of ecstasy, enough love making. In typical sex, we are cut off from the best experience without us having any control. So especially the men are chasing the rabbit and trying on desire, want to have more hardcore porn, more multiply, partners, more kinky experiences, more, 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 not out of choice, but out of running on desires. It's basically following your addictions for a kind of higher dose, but as higher dose it is, it's attach you even more. Freedom from running on desire, because in uh, tantric love making, you actually receive so much ecstasy, then you feel like satisfied. You are feel, oh, wow, I got what I want. You are the one who decide, oh, I feel fulfilled. It's like how much the best Delhi Devi, shamanic, organic, fair trade, vegan, raw chocolate you can eat, even if it's delicious, yum, yum, yum. In some moment you are fulfilled, you are satisfied. And then you are not running on luck, you are running on abundance. And that's what transforms typical sex, that you don't do sex because you are running on desires, that your urge is telling you that, yeah, you have to make sex. It's you make it love out of the choice. And this is game changer, especially for the woman. When she feels that the man, it's not pushy, not like uh, crazy dog obsessed with the sex, then she feels safe, she feels good. And then she can surrender, man, woman, the same. This is one of the spiritual aspects, freeing yourself from running on desires. So another spiritual aspect is with this wave orgasm, you may activate Another orgasms, another points. The men can have at least eight types of orgasms. The woman can have at least 11 types of orgasms. And only the clitoral and ejaculatory orgasms are explosive orgasms, are peak orgasms, that you lose the energy and you deplete yourself from the energy. When you learn and activate all other orgasms, you are fulfilled, you are uplifted after love making, you are more energized than before love making. So this is what this tantra about: to energize you, to give you the power, to give you the boost to life.
with the wave orgasm you activate by being half an hour on the high sexual arousal close to the point of non-return you activate another orgasms another types of orgasms that are giving you energy only the peak orgasm ejaculatory and clitoral orgasm are taking away energy from you all the others are nourishing all your different chakras so they are very beneficial for you this is another very important spiritual aspects what use it don't lose it it's giving to you another spiritual aspect is that through the wave orgasm you can be blessed and achieve so-called cosmic universal orgasm in this orgasm you not only start to feel all yourself you may feel all your cells in your body all your organs you may feel all your aspects of yourself your feminine your masculine your passive your active person you may feel your divine your heart your inner child your body all everything you feel like allness there is no separation within you you feel allness this gives you great power that you are like all one unit but it goes even further it brings the couple two partners two lovers into so called maituna state the sacred union where both of you are feeling so connected that you may feel everything what she feels when you touch her you not only feeling you touching her but you can feel her being touched by you everything what she feels you can feel so all the gratitude joy bliss ecstasy love what she feels you feel as it's your own and the same usually she feels in the same moment this experience give for the couple such a strong connection such a bonding they don't want to harm each other they want to support each other much more after feeling that they are one this beautiful belief what many religions what many teachings are sharing as a belief tantra gives you as a real experience so this belief that we are all one you can feel through the cosmic orgasm because it goes even further this beautiful state what some teachings call samadhi satori nirvana tantra gives you as a real experience you may feel that we are all one during the cosmic orgasm you can feel how mother nature is breathing with you you may feel how the waves of the ocean are like pulsating in your blood that there is no separation water and water you can feel how the plants are growing like the hairs on your body there is no separation no duality you are the love the love is you you are the divine the divine is you we are all one when you experience it as your body and your being experience on all levels you are not believer anymore you would not want to hurt anyone because you will know that it's a stupid to hurt someone because you will know you are hurting yourself you would rather uplift them make them happy make them feeling good and that would start to lead your life from that moment this is very strong spiritual direction what use it don't lose it method through the achieving the cosmic orgasm can give you i would say like imagine your arm having anesthetic to not to feel pain 
you remember that this is your arm you know it you will not cut it because it would be stupid yes having back this memory that we are all one give you this knowledge that it would be stupid to hurt someone you would rather uplift that someone somehow through some system conditionings of our life we forget about it but tantra through experience of nirvana in the cosmic orgasm it gives us this wisdom this powerful message this powerful direction in spirituality back into us that we always do not harming we always uplifting people make them happy animals nature we take care the cosmic orgasm is a blessing what you may achieve when you have passionate lover tantric lover you are in full in love with that person you both master use it don't lose it method and you are in the passionate love you can be blessed and have that experience but even for those people who do not have that experience with the power of tantra with the use it don't lose it method and tantra being as a spiritual path what is focusing on the love and connection it's leading into going into the direction in all spiritual circles but especially in tantric circles people who are growing on the path they naturally becoming more taking care for mother earth not only in the singing but also in their actions they are more environmental friendly living people they are more socially friendly living people they are making choices more not only for themselves eventually for their partners and their families but they taking care for all they seeing maybe some uh, old neighbor who needs a uh, shopping and when they do their own shopping it doesn't cost them to make help for this old lady who maybe is difficulty for her to make shopping and you make the smile on her they naturally choosing to live in the countries like thailand where the smile it's their nature this is very spiritual aspect of being in thailand being peaceful they choosing to go and create the social events what are not just about consuming watching the football and drinking beers but to connect on the deeper level find the meaning healing through the connection ecstatic dances and so on and so on of course in those circles people naturally become more vegetarian even vegan because they take care for mother earth for the climate change for better for the animals and the hungry children this is another spiritual aspects what use it don't lose it method also gives to us and another one what i would like to share it's the one thing what can give you heaven on earth even more than cosmic orgasm as much the cosmic orgasm it's a huge step on your spiritual way of living then there is one thing what i value even more as much as i love all different orgasms and i'm teaching about it i'm passionately there is one thing what i value much more than all those orgasms it's a seeing happiness in my beloved eyes after love making and knowing that i influence this is the best heaven on earth i can imagine feeling her gratitude bliss love and knowing that i influence this i feel proud of myself i feel happy i feel the same this is the one of the best moments and i'm happy to choose to live life that i can have it almost every day and sometimes even twice a day by choosing to make love for 2 3 hours daily as a the best spiritual practice what it is empowering my life better than anything else this is my message for today
and this is it what Tantra teachers can bring to the humanity. So if you feel the call, go for it, because this payoffs the bill, even if you would not have so much. If it will bring you to the challenges in your heart, you will feel this is what I experience the most beautiful in my life. And that's what I like others to experience too. That's what learning about loving better and doing it, it's about. And then sharing it, this is all about. Sharing this gift, what we received, that's all about. And thank you, you future or nowadays teacher already. Thank you for all who get inspired to use it, don't lose it method. Because when you born children in this way, you are creating new generations. If you educate your partners, your children in this way, you create new world, new humanity, what we need. We all bring the changes, what humanity needs by sharing this video, by sharing the wisdom about that, by practice, by finishing 49 day challenge. When you make love in the tantric way, you not only heal yourself, your partner, you heal all humanity. You liberate all humanity, yourself and the partner. You expand in love, you grow in ecstasy, but not only on your own level. Not only you inspire your partner to do the same, but energetically you support this change all over the human beings. Thank you for walking new path. Thank you that you are. Aho! Mm -hmm.